High school can be tough. We'll help you navigate some of the areas you need help with, including the college preparation process by providing advice for families. Every student is different and has a unique path. That's why we created this podcast. Our innovative and intentional approach builds confidence in the individual student. Listen each week to find out how students can score better on college placement tests with techniques and methods that build confidence, beat test anxiety, and identify strengths within each student. You're listening to Simply Smarter with hosts Caleb and Jill. Check out our blog at GetSmarterPrep.com for more college prep-related topics. Welcome back to this week's episode of Simply Smarter. On today's episode, Caleb and I are discussing whether it's smarter to focus on part-time jobs or focusing on attaining scholarships for college. We're going to break down what it takes to make the most money with the least amount of work. Stay tuned. Caleb. What's up, Jill? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing okay. Good. Anything new? Yeah. This is super weird, but I've been fixated and I've been thinking about this a lot. Remember how I signed off last week? <laughs> y'all? Bye now. Oh, bye now. <laughs> I said bye now. And then I, I was thinking about y'all. Like I, I introduced yes. that in, in uh, season, season one. Season one, yeah. I've actually used y'all all the time now. in oh, communication yeah. now. So I okay. really did introduce... I don't think so I'm going to bring. Bye now? I don't think I'm going to say <laughs> bye now. <laughs> that is not going to stick. It so sorry of, about that, audience. It kind of reminds me on Wheel of Fortune when Vanna White she always says says bye bye, and my mom always used to make fun of her. I'm like, oh. mom, it's just how she says bye bye. She's just saying bye. It's just a thing. It's just a thing. Yeah. So I mean, I could be Vanna and say bye bye, and you could be Pat, say Jack, and just say I don't know what he says. Wait, bye. What does he say? Yeah, just bye. bye. Yeah. Maybe I should email Pat Sajak and ask him to say bye now. If you do that, let me know if I can be on the show. Ask him. Deal. You are kind of a pro. I love it. (laughs) I love it. Fun times. I know. Anyway, so today is a really great episode because everyone remembers their first part-time job, right, in high school? Oh, yes. Yeah. I detailed cars for a tiny little car dealership. Yeah. And... Worked all the time Mm -hmm. and made peanuts. Yeah. How much did you make? How long ago was this, by the way? This is a long time ago. We're going to age ourselves here. So it was depending on what I was doing. If I was just detailing and whatnot, it was like... Five fifty an hour or something like mm-hmm. that, <laughs> and then like there were some things that like I would help them drive around the city and pick up the new cars at auction and all that. Kind oh of stuff, yeah, which was kind of cool. That's kind of fun. I drove some really cool cars, so that was that was the perk yeah. for sure. But I think that was like six bucks an hour. Okay, yeah, a little bit of a raise there. <laughs> Ooh, my first job was at Shopco. Shopco. So I started as a cashier, and then I went over to Soft Lines, which is mm. you know jewelry. And, and clothes. You were so, big time. Yeah, I know how to fold a shirt. I do I get know that. that. So I get yeah, that. but I think I, yeah, it was. I wasn't making much money, and we talked a little bit before we started the podcast. Like you work so hard in high school, and it's. I, I had some friends that worked there too, so it was fun. Like we, right. we got to see yeah. you know friends, and it, it was it was kind of fun to see who was working that night. So it was it was a good time. But um, yeah, you get your first paycheck, and you're so excited, and you open it, and you know it's a good chunk but for how long you've been working there and for the last two weeks you're like really this is it yeah come on it it can be kind of kind of frustrating yeah and and we're this is the thing i learned so many great skills during that Mm -hmm. time period like Mm -hmm. i learned responsibility right i learned how to show up on time right how to show respect to my boss Mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff those are Invaluable, re- invaluable things, right? right. Uh, that everybody needs to know and to be successful. But again, if it comes yeah. down, sometimes it comes down to dollars and cents. Mm-hmm. It really does. Yeah, I also cleaned houses for a little oh, bit really? in high school, and I remember making like between eight to ten dollars. So it was a it was a bump from yeah, look at you. Shopco, right? Which is no longer there, by the way. It just closed down. (laughs) That kind of hurts your heart. Amazon. Dang you, Amazon. (laughs) (laughs) 
I'll, yeah, I'll never forget the first time I felt like that. Yeah. They tore down the hospital I was born in, in oh. Urbana, Illinois. Oh. I was like, oh my gosh, I feel old. Like a hospital is supposed to be there for forever. And it, like it's a piece of you. Oh my gosh, it's weird. It is so weird. Hmm. Anyway, so everyone has their first part-time job. You make peanuts, basically, but you learn valuable, valuable yeah. lessons. Okay, so we're going to talk about scholarships versus part-time jobs. Because a lot of people think, yo, I, I'd love to get a scholarship. That'd be great. Yeah, let's do it. But I have to have my part-time job too, and I have to focus on this. But the hours and time spent you put in a part-time job versus studying for a scholarship, aka working on your ACT, getting that ACT score right, up, right. is going to be significantly less than the hours you work at a measly part-time job. Absolutely. I mean, it, it's it's mind-blowing, especially <laughs> at the current minimum wage, right? Yeah. Right. So, so federally here, it, mm-hmm. it's 725. 725. And then I, I believe both Kansas and Missouri are that rate. Mm-hmm. So I think mm-hmm. most most young people are probably starting off in that range. Yeah. I think that's reasonable. Yeah. Even, and, and we'll get to it, like, even on that high end where, again, everybody, it's kind of a, a big movement talking about, like, the minimum wage moving to $15 per hour. Yeah. Even in that realm, like, we're going to see you're still putting in a lot more hours and energy and right. time just for some minimum minimum scholarship right right, right. So. yeah so let's uh let's take a look at the hours and kind of compare so um hours to match scholarships at rockhurst at rockhurst okay okay so it's at 18 five a year for four years okay so to make that in retail and restaurant you'd be making guess how much how many hours oh my gosh um i, I probably a few hundred Right? Uh, up it. Uh, yeah, uh, a few. <laughs> a thousand? Almost. Almost. We're at right, right, right about 9,200 hours. 9,200 hours? I mean. To get that scholarship? It's the same as that scholarship? That's horrible. That's a lot of hours. That's a lot. Because that is over four years, right? Right. And that's for right. students scoring in that 19 to 24 range. Correct. Right? So it's not like we're talking about totally blowing it up. Right. Like exceeding like that 30 mark where very few students score that range. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're talking about something that's pretty achievable for most people, right? Absolutely. Yeah, it is. It is. Wow. It is. Babysitting or nannying how many hours do you think you'd have to work to make that amount well i'm a little biased now Mm -hmm. i actually i actually heard of a story recently where uh, an older brother's in town from college and working this like part-time job and his sister who's like three years younger is Mm -hmm. babysitting and Mm -hmm. she's making way more than way more so i know that that the i never babysat myself but i know that rate is higher so i'd say like i don't know 5,000 hours? A little more than that even. Right about 6,000. Woo. I know. And babysitting, I mean, it's about 10 to 15 hours, dollars an hour. I mean, yeah. anywhere between that. You could probably get me make more maybe a little bit less too so but on average yeah yeah i know we pay our babysitters ten dollars an hour right so yeah they make good money and they're i mean most of the time the kids are asleep half the time i mean they go to bed at what eight or nine yeah true if you're out until 10 or 11 so yeah that's a win i love babysitting yeah i'm gonna start babysitting (laughs) (laughs) is that weird that may be weird. <laughs> Maybe. Well, you can start babysitting my kids. There you go. Okay. Ten dollars an hour. I'll take it. After one night, you'll be like, "Get yeah. me out of here." I'll be running. Uh, and oh then, I, have you did, did you do this before mowing lawns? I mowed lawn lots service. of lawns, but it was all for free. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sad. That was rough. <laughs> it was like something again, whether it was our house or the, neighbors, the neighbors of the church. I always. It was always just something my dad volunteered me for. Mm. Mm. But oh, what they, a happy volunteer you are. Right. And you learned very, very many oh, life boy. lessons, I'm sure. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, our neighbor, Bob. He was a gem. Oh, Bob. <laughs> anyway. Did they give you water or lemonade at least? Everyone's some. Some. Usually no. Mm. I, Bob. I was always kind of afraid to get stuck because, I again, I'm like 14, 15 years old. Yeah. Like, I didn't want to hang out with neighbors that mm-hmm. are not my age right? no so like i would try to go and mow their lawn when nobody when i thought nobody was home oh, that's a good idea yeah 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 because otherwise i would get in roped inside for a while and mm-hmm. no that was not my jam it's even at the more time, time. so yeah. you probably spent more time <laughs> mowing than necessary right quote unquote mowing right right so actually you'll, you'll need about uh what 3200 hours mowing lawns wow that is a lot of hours it's a lot of lawns too <laughs> that is a lot of lawns or just one humongous lawn i mean what about how, that? what's like what's one lawn and uh, like one lawn an hour one 
Can you even do that in one summer? No, no. I mean, we're talking about, so <laughs> that is so many hours, 3,200 hours. Yeah. If you were doing that full, full time for 40 hours a week, which students aren't going to be able no, to pull off, right? Do. That's uh, 800 weeks. No. What? It's insane. That's crazy. It's insane. What about a 15 hour tutorial oh, plus shoot. homework? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so in this case, we're talking about like a 10 week like tutorial, right? 15 hours. And then there's probably going to be two, three, four hours of homework associated with each session. Okay. So we're probably talking 50 plus hours easily. Sure. Right. But not 3,200. But not 3,200 hours. hours <laughs> or 9,000 hours. Significantly less. Right. Right. Significantly less. And again, if you are sitting in that 16, 17 range, again, spend a little bit of spend. Right. Gets you a lot and payoff at a place like Rockers yeah, for sure. Really does. Rockers really has does. some great scholarships. Right. So I mean, just working smarter, not harder. Right. You're gonna use your brain a little bit more maybe than mowing a lawn or babysitting. Yeah, you're not gonna get a tan like out oh, out mowing. Darn it. Or you... wait, farmers tan? Or... <laughs> well, probably. Sleeveless. <laughs> if you're sleeveless. a pro, you're probably going sleeveless. Right. Or actually full sleeve, full sleeve. You know, full sleeve, so right. you can protect your skin. Right. Wear sunscreen. <laughs> Thank you, Jill, the mom. I know, that's the mom. <laughs> that's SPF not the first 50. time she's told me that, <laughs> actually, <laughs> everyone. Anyway. Oh, sorry, guys. But seriously, wear your sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> even, again, think about it. Like, a, even a $1,000 scholarship. Mm-hmm. $1,000 per year, that's $4,000. Yeah. A student at the normal minimum wage would have to work roughly 150 hours for a thousand dollars, and over the four thousand, that's 600 hours. Yeah, that's that's a lot of time and energy. A lot of time for again, you have some spending money, mm-hmm. but oh man, yeah, it's just too much. It's mm. too much. Scholarships are definitely where it's at for sure, for yeah. sure. And, and even what? when you get in college, I mean. You're talking about work study, right? Right. So did you do work study in college? I did. Yeah. I opted to always get the money instead of yeah, putting it on my tuition. <laughs> <laughs> um, Don't tell mom and dad. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I would do that. And, and again, on campus job was fantastic mm-hmm. because you didn't have to travel. You didn't have to do anything. You just walk across campus and you're there. Yeah. But again, it was seven fifty an hour at the time. Yeah. <laughs> So, and again, you have taxes that you're paying on it, unlike a scholarship. Yes. No taxes. Perfect. So, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. I did. Um, I worked in the buildings and grounds. Did you? So, I would always clean my own dorm so I didn't have to clean other people's nastiness. <laughs> so, I would clean my own dorm okay. and it worked out really well because they always said, you know, if you get done in an hour and you're working for two hours that day, just go do your homework, do whatever you want. They were pretty chill. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty legit. So it was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I remember there was one friend, he worked in the guy's dorm, Mm -hmm. and he would just clock in and just go straight to his dorm and not Uh, clean. And it was disgusting. It's like, you know, at least clean it first and get done. Do the job. I mean, the garbages were like overflowing. Right. I've been in in men's dorms. They're disgusting. They're disgusting. I mean, come on, Phil. Oh, Phil. Phil. (laughs) Jeez. Sounds like something Phil would do. I know. (laughs) I don't know, Phil. (laughs) Hmm. Interesting. Overall, he was a good guy. Okay. That's fair. But yeah, anyway. So yeah, I I worked for Billings and Grounds, uh, cleaned my dorm room, and then started babysitting and nannying and cleaning another uh, family's house. So I made $10 an hour there. Oh, there you go. Yeah, bumped that up quite a bit. So yeah, I I worked my little butt off in in college. So, um, but yeah, I mean, compared to... I mean, I would much rather would have had a awesome scholarship. Right. Absolutely. And, Other than and clocking it, in at least 20 hours a week. <laughs> right. And, and it doesn't necessarily even mean that you don't work, right? Right. Like getting a scholarship. It's just now you can spend that money on other things that mm-hmm. you enjoy or want to do. Or, Clubs. Right. Different activities. Intramurals. Right. I mean, there's lots of fun things to do in college. So many things. Other than working. Yeah. <laughs> so you, even if you cut your hours in half when, from what you would have had to have done, like 20 hours, now you're working 10 hours, now you have some spending money. Yeah. Yeah. That Perfect. That kind of works out okay. You got your pizza money. Right. Midnight pizza run. Oh, yes. Freshman 15. <laughs> Sophomore 20. I don't want to get into that. 
I, I went from a, a two sport athlete in high school to having shoulder surgery mm. in my freshman year of college. <laughs> my freshman 15 was the freshman 50. <gasps> Yikes. What? I was Caleb. I was so in shape and so thin and I couldn't work out because my sh- my shoulder was so bummed up like you running her you couldn't walk I did a lot of walking <laughs> but I did a lot of eating as uh, well I know, I know oh man well you Fresh have unlimited eating. ice cream oh and cereal and oh. cereal like dozens of Lucky cereals charms, to choose from tricks mm. cinnamon toast crunch that was the one I was thinking <laughs> of. <laughs> Nice. It's so good. Stop yeah. reading my brain, Jim. I know. I know. We're going to go to lunch after this and just <laughs> go straight to the cereal aisle. <laughs> I like that idea. It's a good one. <laughs> so, it, again, it doesn't have to be these giant scholarships like at Rockhurst, right? A private right. school offers larger, larger, larger scholarships because they have a larger tuition number, right? But even at these state schools, again, getting into that 24 range at like mm-hmm. KU, mm-hmm. a good local school here. Mm-hmm. It is. Again, it gets you $1,000 a year. Yeah. That's four grand, 600 hours of like, if you were working, minimum wage. So worth it. So worth it. Absolutely. Absolutely. What about some of the higher scholarships? So 24 is $1,000 yeah, a so, year. So the top end at KU, for instance, is if, if a student has a 32, which is a pretty massive pretty score, good. right? Yeah. Right? 97th percentile. Yeah. It's five grand a year. That's $20,000. Yeah. Holy cow. For four years. I remember if I made $2,000 a summer, I thought that was excellent. Pretty great. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. you know, still working part time, still spending time with our family and friends. Like if I could make $2,000 a summer, that was, I thought that was great. Yeah. But no, $5,000 a year. Right. That's and awesome. for minimal time. And again, it's recurring. So mm-hmm. now you just have to keep your GPA up, which mm-hmm. is important. Right. And this is a little insider baseball. So, I, uh, when I was working through my degree, I read a lot about attrition and, and, and retention, like mm-hmm. staying in college and persisting and all that kind of stuff. And again, students who had to work a whole lot, guess what? They dropped off. They dropped out. Oh. Way more frequently than students who didn't either work or worked fewer hours. Yeah. Well, they're probably more stressed. Yeah. I mean, they have jobs. Now they have you, school. You have all these things that are taking your your time away from your main priority when you're in college, and that's your Studying. education. Yeah. Right? So, in, in the very least, if, if you make sure that you, you actually graduate... Mm-hmm. Guess what? That earning potential is considerably more and whatever. I mean, there's so many pros to making sure that you they are setting yourself up for success. And a lot of that is just making sure that the, the money side works. Yes. So. Yeah, absolutely. It's a huge stressor. Yep. I mean, for parents and for kids, yeah. students. So, yeah, if we can eliminate that a little bit, that'd be great. Absolutely. What else? What about some other colleges? What, what do you what do you want to talk about? What about I mean, what about Arizona or what, what was the other one you mentioned earlier? TCU, like TCU. a lot of people bring up TCU, and I know we've brought it up a few times here on the mm-hmm. on the, the podcast. There are just a lot of people in the KC area that are seriously considering TCU. Mm-hmm. Now, not all of them are going to it, but there's a good contingency from this area going. Yeah, and for that. instance, like a twenty nine, again, a really really good score. Mm-hmm. They're getting a ten thousand dollar per year scholarship. Man, forty thousand dollars. Grand, right? That's massive. That's like more than some people earn their first year out of college. Oh yeah. I, I mean, would I think say I made like twenty seven thousand. Right. <laughs> right. And I worked lots of hours. A lot of hours, right? Because you're the lackey. Cars. Ooh. I worked at Enterprise, uh, <laughs> rent a car. <laughs> Literally was washing vehicles in, you know, suits. Hey. I worked in, in, in higher ed mm-hmm. in Boston, mm. and my first job paid 28000 a oh, year. Oh, man, in Boston. Ooh. In Boston. So you live off of ramen noodles the first year? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> it's funny, because the context, like, I thought I was making good money. Oh, and for then, sure. And then I was working, like, 70 hours a week. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Crazy. It's, dep- it's a little depressing. Yeah, it is. A little what about that typical 30? Everybody wants a 30. So if you get a 30 oh, yeah. and you're going to TCU. You get sixteen grand a year. What? Again, how, how many hours of work is that? I mean, we're talking oh, geez. a lot of hours. Yeah. 8,000 hours of <laughs> minimum wage work. <laughs> Something crazy. Yeah. So, again, the value here is, is that return on investment. Mm-hmm. A lot. Of, it's a good business term, right? But a lot of families don't kind of necessarily think in that context. Right. A little bit of time and energy mm-hmm. and money on the front end can mean big rewards in the long run. Right. Right. Again, it, going from that, even, even if you have a 29... 
if you can get one more point, mm-hmm. holy cow, that's another six grand a year. Right. And it doesn't take that point. much time or energy. I was we're not even say, talking a 15 hour tutorial. Now we're talking a three or six hour tutorial. Yeah, just a super short attainable. Thing. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So the big takeaway here is, again, focus on what's important. That's going to be your education mm-hmm. and how to most successfully get there is going to be, again, paying for it in a way that makes the most sense. And that could definitely be scholarships. Absolutely. hundred percent agree. Yeah. If you need any help increasing your ACT scores or SAT scores, please let us know. We are here for you. We always want you to succeed. We want to make the college process easier for you. So yeah, give us a call. Come on in, send us an email, um, call us. Us, send us a tweet, Facebook, Instagram. You... <laughs> We're available. <laughs> Holler at us. Holla. <laughs> okay. Would you like to say goodbye in a normal, in a normal response way. today? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us, everyone. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to talking to you next episode. early is too early. Join us next week when we talk about the right time to start preparing for the ACT or SAT. And as always, if you like our podcast, please make sure to subscribe, comment, and give us a five-star review. See you all next week.